Hello everybody, welcome back to this new video and um, the trailer that you just saw came up from an idea that my son has uh, because he has a whole lot of fun riding his motorbike and he was asking me, oh daddy, uh, please just make a movie from me, make a trailer, I would like to, okay, so this is how everything started, so we went out there, took some shots of him on the bike, um, the good thing in this case is that I knew that um, the speed would be 120 beats per minute. So the whole movie um, that I cut in iMovie, I knew exactly, you know, one second, two seconds, three seconds. So it was quite easy then. And let's just see how I did the music. Because at the end of the day, there is nothing fancy going on. So um, the libraries that I used for this one are Albion One. And here come the good news. There is the free ferrum that uh, I used for um, the percussion. And there is the damage, the production loops from damage 2. And these two, they're actually free. So you will find in the description, um, in the description, <laughs> uh, the link where you can download uh, these two libraries. So let's go through it. Um, another thing that I used is this fantastic MIDI loop pack from Alex Pfeffer, which is called um, the Raging Strings. So I didn't even need to, to lose some time on writing the sting, string ostinato. I just took um, a file from this uh, MIDI loop pack and twiggled around a little bit with this. So let's have a listen to the very first uh, track, which is just the string Spiccato from Albion One. So what this is, is um, one of the full arrangements that you find in the MIDI loop pack. And even for this one, the description will be, the link will be in the description. And at the beginning, I just took out a few of the high notes to create some tension so it doesn't start with the whole arrangement but just some single notes dun, 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 dun. but you notice that something is missing and then at the end yes i get to the the full arrangement so the ostinato was done in less than one minute i added from albion one some colenio hits which sound like this Fantastic sound, this Colenio. Um. If you need some rhythmic elements, so we put them together. And uh, the first structure is set. Then I add a sound from Project Sam's Orchestral Essentials, which is just the SWAT team, which brings some... Um some more tension to everything. And to round it up, I have some shots from the Aperture um, library from um, Spitfire Audio, which made part of their um, Black Friday sales. Fantastic, fantastic library, because they just put together a whole orchestra, and then with the modulation you can get less or more instruments involved. And on, with this one I just had some orchestral hits. <laughs> which then, as the action grows, get more notes in. Okay, then we come to the low brass. And what did I do here? Um, I have these moments in the movie where the um, titles are written and I just wanted to have a low brass. They're like... Wham. And this is what I created here. And I did this easily by layering three different sounds from two different libraries. So I have simply from the Jaeger a sound that is called simply low brass. And if you have a listen to this, I might have a chance to get a loop here. Okay, so... 
Let's have a listen only to the low brass. Then from Jaeger, I took um, uh, another sound, which is four trombones and two tubas. They sound like this. And then from Albion 1, I take the low brass, which sounds like this. And if you layer all three together, the result is simply this. Quite impressive, in my opinion. Um, and then, obviously, from Jaeger, I borrowed a whole lot of effects. Um, I know I promised a long time ago that I will make a review of Jaeger, and I hope now, during the holiday, I will finally find the time, because a part of the really fantastic brass sounds and the tight, tight string sounds, even if the legatos, they, they are nice, of the violas, um, there are these fantastic sound designs like the Brahms. So there are so many, so many. There's a whole um, collection of Brahms, of hits, of loops, of everything you need to make trailer music. You see that? So many. And... Um, even from Audio Imperia, I used some trailer sounds, which is one of their freebies. See, even in this one, there are many. And then, now it, it becomes interesting, I used from the um, free production loops from Damage from Heaviosity, and this is just loops. They are obviously synchronized with your tempo. Okay, and then from the Ferrum, the free edition, even this one, as I said before, is for free. Um, I used a whole lot of booms. So everything you need to make epic percussion and if you have a listen only to these effects. Okay, so this is how slowly, slowly it's starting to get epic. And then there comes this moment um, where he actually gets on the bike and switches on the engine. There I wanted to create some tension by silence. So the only thing that I have going on here is um, from the Albion one, from the Brunel loops, one single loop. Just like this. So um, this is what you hear here then. Okay, we come to the second part, and the second part um, I was using simply for the melody, a lead sound coming out of my Cork Chrome, which is fantastic, which, which is one of the sounds that even Jordan Rudis uses so much, where I can use the joystick to play around with the sound, so I can shift it up an octave, a semitone, a high notes, and the distortion, so... So this is uh, the, the melody, then uh, to accompany the melody I have here, again, uh, this sound called SWAT Team from uh, Project Sam. I have a simple, simple synth bass going on. And here again I have the shots from Aperture. And for the drums I used easily, easily 
um, the studio drummer from Native Instruments, where you get all these loops and even these nice fills. Okay, I am should... You see, there are all these um, fantastic variations. Grooves over grooves over grooves. Let's check just this one. So whatever, whatever you need. As a drum, you get all the loops here. So here I have my drums and th that's it at the end for the second part. There's nothing fancy in it. And at the end, when uh, you know everything is over, there comes again an another trailer hit. Here, just then everything gets black. And here for this making of coming soon again. As you see, I use some trailer sounds from the freebie of Audio Imperia. I have again some loops from Damage going on. I have again some new hits here from the Ferrum. And again the brass. In this case now I layered three different um, sounds. So I have the French horns. Together with the low brass. together with trombones and tuba and one of my favorites the Albion One low brass so listen to this really low really nasty and you get those together and that's what it's sounding like And yeah, that's it. This is how I came up with this um, trailer. And uh, the best thing about this, my son is so happy about this small trailer that I made for him, um, which makes me happy as a dad. And I hope you liked the video. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, just uh, if you like videos like this, um, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. Uh, there will be more videos like this coming in the future. Um, that's it for today. Thanks for your time. Have a nice evening. See you at the next video. Bye-bye.